This is Mark Smith in the very, uh, walking around in the center of the very town of which his most favorite FM radio station is licensed to. That being a great small town FM radio station with no website, WLTN-FM. Some of the best radio stations without websites that you'll ever find are from this town. I find Littleton, New Hampshire to be very clicky. So I do my best not to try and, you know, stick out. By clicky, I'm not talking C-L-I-C-K-Y. I'm talking C-L-I-Q-U-E-Y. I guess you'd spell it clicky. Like they're clicks and stuff. And people keep their eyes peeled for anyone who's different. But it's a very nice town. Most small towns are clicky. My specialty is small town FM radio stations with no websites. Or small town FM radio stations without websites. A station I've just been listening to all that time in my car is actually run out of this building here. And I'm going to show you it. Best of all, those stations don't have any websites, so I like them even more. If I owned radio stations, I would make sure I would never give them websites. I'd never let any stations I own radio. If I ever got to own radio stations, I'd never give them any websites. There'd be no website. suppose now would not be a good time to cross. What with that big 18-wheeler truck and everything. Yeah. Yeah, Littleton, New Hampshire is a small town. It's very clicky, but you know what? I'm still cool with it. I'd be doing something constructive. Being an active contributor of the community by giving it a great two great music stations with no websites. Two great radio stations without websites. See, when I was the ages of all these people here, small town FM radio stations that played music tended to not have websites. Only the big stations did. And the websites were real throwbacks. You know, like old school websites. This is the entrance to a couple great local small town radio stations with no websites. Uh, the entrance to, to a couple radio stations without websites is this building here. For more great ideas and selections for AC, Hot AC, or Top 40 radio stations without websites, you can log on to radiostationworld.com. Inside voice. I'll do my best.
Hello, uh, I'm a visitor. I was wondering if this would be a good time to visit the studios or whether you at least don't mind me outside in the hallway kind of getting video of the former logos. Okay, and what's your name? Okay, uh, would you prefer me to stay at way outside or would you mind to at least see me briefly or what? Okay, well, I'll be outside and I'll be out of the building soon. Bye. Inside is management, the manager of whom I'm not going to name in the video. The guy manages Radio New England Broadcasting, the ownership company of my two favorite radio stations. Note that these logos are going on the internet through a copyright loophole. They're from when the stations were under prior management. So it's okay to post these logos. There's lots of copyright information. There's lots of copyright permission issues and copyright infringement these days. So you've got to be very cautious. Oops. The owner under these logos was indeed Sharp Broadcasting. They're completely different. Sharp Broadcasting had no affiliation with the current management. So this station is now Oldies 1400 and the Golden Great 98.5. So this logo is outdated. Uh, but fascinatingly, that radio station had no website. So that was cool. Radio stations without websites. I know I must have said it six gazillion times, but hey, that's. I have a pre fascination with. Um, I have a real fixation with small town radio stations with no websites. If a radio station doesn't have a website, I'll love it more. These video cameras are so indiscreet now. So this is now Mix 96.7. This logo's outdated. This was under Westwood One's bright adult contemporary format, hence the bright in the slogan name. And this was the primary voice of News Talk 1400 WLTN was a man with a very deep voice who's... Um, well, he's been off, he's been out of the radio business for a while. He's kind of moved on a bit. Uh, decided to travel a different path. Hi. These video cameras are pretty neat, huh? Yeah. I'm able to put these logos online because they're from prior management. There you go. <laughs> yep. These stations do have logos now, but um, they're copyrighted, so. D -d -d -d. So through a copyright loophole, I'm able to put these logos on the internet because these logos have no relation. What happened was somebody decided to paint these logos on the wall to help passers-by try and find the stations. But then the stations underwent a management change in the, and they changed slogans and format and everything. The bright Westwood One's bright AC was switched for an eclectic adult contemporary mix of 1975 through 1999, and later was extended to go through 2009. 
they traded in the bright 96.7 slogan for Mix 96.7 and traded in Westwood One's bright adult contemporary for um, an independent eclectic hot or eclectic adult contemporary type format, which sometimes hybrids into being eclectic hot AC to coincide with WXXS, KISS 102 FM, which has become very mainstream now. So now Mix 96.7 is my favorite. It used to be KISS because they'd play a lot of eclectic rarities, but they've kind of mainstreamed. So I just keep it locked on 96.7. This used to be, uh, the voice of this radio station used to be a man with a very deep voice who had a fascination with Native American stuff, although why should I talk about that? I'm Caucasian, but still I'll mention. But um, he's long left WLTN. A man named Jim but I'm not going to announce any more information. But he's been out of WLTN for quite a while. So um, He had a very distinctive, very deep voice. The first time I ever tuned into WLTN FM, back when it was bright 96.7, under the bright AC Westwood One format through prior management, I heard a very deep, deep voice giving the news at the top of an hour. Um, the man had a very, very deep voice. It was very deep. So, I'm going to go now. I've not been invited, so like a vampire, if I'm not invited, I'm not going to go in. <laughs> Looks like i got two minutes left and the card runs out. Two minutes, six seconds. That ain't me. It's somebody else. Okay. I'm gonna leave now. One last walk through and I am out of this building. Out I go. Back into the building I go to use the bathroom. I was getting kicked out of this. Somebody wrote sucks on this. I don't know why they did that, but I don't know. I just have the common tendency to have radio stations I like a lot not be very popular amongst other people. I have a very distinctive and unique taste in radio. <laughs> 